Hi, we're going to talk about Le Chatelier's lab. We're going to be using um, a complex ion, it is cobalt. Um, and kind of fun, we're going to stress our equation with our chemical reaction with both temperature and concentration. Um, so in this lab, you're going to um, be given a solution and you have to divide the solution into so that we can deal with temperature and we can deal with concentration. Um, first, let's look at temperature. So you have this reaction that happens, um, and it, maybe it's possible that um, your uh, teacher is going to give you this uh, cobalt uh, chloride, have you add water to it, and you're going to see that it goes to this pink color. Then you can warm it up. Now be careful, you don't want to get this to boiling. It really only needs to go to like 60-ish degrees, if I recall correctly. Um, so it doesn't have to get super warm. And the way you want to warm it up is get a hot water bath and you place a test tube with the solution inside of it inside the water bath so that you're not heating it directly, you're heating it with the water warming it up. Um, so let's look at this. Uh, it's an exothermic reaction. So I'm going to write the word heat. I wrote it in blue so you could see it really explicitly. I'm going to write the word heat on the product side. So this is exothermic, we're releasing energy. That goes on the product side. Um, so if I increase temperature, let's do the equilibrium with me. I'm at perfect equilibrium and then I increase the temperature. If I add that extra energy, remember it's kind of a trick of just how to figure this out, something that we use. I'm going to um, pretend all the energy goes into the word heat. I know it goes to the entire system, but we're going to add it to that word heat. Increase the temperature, ugh, it gets heavy. There's too much energy, too much heat. So what does it have to do to go back into equilibrium? Which way will it shift to regain uh, equilibrium? It has to shift in the reverse direction. Um, so on this, I would predict that this is going to shift reverse. So if it shifts reverse, what's the evidence for you and I that it's consuming reactants and making more products? We should see blue it should turn a blue color. Um, so we've warmed it up. Now let's carefully take it out of that hot water bath. So you're going to be using um, a test tube holder or you're going to be using a silicone glove and you're going to put it in an ice bath now. So we put this in an ice bath. Um, we're going to decrease right here. We're going to decrease the temperature. Okay, so I've reached equilibrium. It shifted, went back into equilibrium. Now I'm going to pull some of that energy out. I'm going to remove some of that energy, um, and this would just be like a child jumping off the teeter-totter. What happens? It goes like this. It's too light on this side. I don't have enough energy. So which way does it have to shift to go back into equilibrium? It's got to shift in the forward direction to bring that back. I've got to push that side down, bring it back into equilibrium. So I would predict that this will shift forward. And again, what's the evidence? What should we see that we are consuming reactants and making more products as this shifts in the forward direction? I predict that we'll see pink. Okay, so that's gonna be with the first test tube. With the second test tube, you've divided your solution. In the second test tube, we are going to add some HCl. Now take a look at that chemical equation. Adding the HCl, what are we really adding? Well, you'll recall hydro, um, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, 100% ionizes. So when I add this 12 molar HCl, I'm really adding the chloride ion. Um, so we're at perfect equilibrium. I add the chloride ion. What happens? I've got too much of that. It goes down like this, it's heavy, too much. So which way is it going to shift? Well, I predict it will shift in the reverse direction. Consume, we've got to consume, um, those products and make more reactants to bring it back into the equilibrium. Um, so we would put down shift, reverse, it's going to go in toward the reactants. So our evidence, I would predict that I'll see a blue color. Now recall on temperature, this actually changes the value of K. Sorry, that's a little delta sign right there for change. It's going to change. Um, here, because we change concentration, it maintains the K value. So the products over reactants, when I add more of that chloride ion, it will consume, consume, consume products, make, make, make the reactants to maintain the ratio of products to reactants in order to hold that value of K. All right, and there you have it. It's kind of a fun lab. Anything with colors is always going to be fun. Um, so Le Lee's lab, enjoy the lab. Thank you. If you have questions on anything else, equilibrium, look under the playlist for equilibrium. Thanks.